वेलकम व्यूअर वेलकम टू और फोर्स एक्टिवियर्स ब्रेकिंग न्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया यस डी आर डी ओ इज फॉइस टू गिट अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन सिक्योरिटी फॉर डेवलपिंग द फिफ्थ जेन फाइटर बेस्ड ऑन ए टाइम लाइन दैट प्रोजेक्ट द फर्स्ट फ्लाइट बाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड स्क्वाडन इंडक्शन बाई टू थाउजेंड थर्टी फाइव मोस्ट फाइटर एविएशन इन टू सी आई शूड फाइंड द फर्स्ट फ्लाइट टाइम लाइन फॉर फेस्ट Indeed, it's likely that everyone involved in the process of seeking CCS approval for the AMCA knows well that the timeline is hopelessly unrealistic. The timeline was first projected to the Indian Air Force in 2019, despite their enthusiasm and wholesome support for a home ground stealth fighter. The IAF. The top leadership considered the timeline ambitious in July 2020. The IAF euphemistically described the timeline as very tight. However, senior DOD and HAL officials ignored that IAF's reservation in January 2021. Chairman and Managing Director of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Air Madhavan, said the prototype of the aircraft is likely to be ready by 2026, and its production could start by 2020. 30 in september 2021 gris s devadhar program director combat air fact and director ada appeared the anth by projecting the first flight in 2025 he said he we were moving to a critical design review by the middle of next year with the roll out planned in 2024 and the first flight planned in 2025 dr ak ghosh project director of amc stated during dep expo 2022 once the project sanction is received the first prototype can be rolled out in 3 years and the first flight in 1 to 1 and half years after that the iaf which has long been associated with drdo and hal remained skeptical in november 2020 the chief of the year staff air chief marshal b r choudhury advised prudence he recommended foreign tiefs as a fallback for developing alternative systems and sensors in case indigenous development slips of the timeline what the, the cash it may have had an impact because on february 14 2023 dr dio chairman samit kamat said that the first flight of the amc may take 7 years and the induction can be done in 10 years from now while considering a slip in the first flight timeline from 2027 to 2020 2030 come as stuck to the 2035 induction target more significant than the rather difficult to swallow dr do hal projected timeline is that the amc projected to be inducted by 2035 will not be a fifth generation fighter it will be a 4.5 generation fighter amc is proposed to be developed in two phases phase 1 development will result in amc mk1 powered by the usg 414 engine phase 2 development will result in amc mk2 which will feature an advanced more powerful engine to be developed in collaboration with the yet to be chosen foreign partner amc mk1 will lack at least three defining fifth generation fighter engines super cruise Super maneuverability sensor fusion. Additionally, AMC MQ-1 will feature limited stealth. AMC is instructed by the F-35, which has no rear aspect radio frequency and stealth, but does feature a suppressed IR signature. The AMC will feature no rear aspect stealth, neither RF nor IR. Using the 98 KN G F-41. Four engine instead of one one zero K N engine as planned when designing A M C A rules out super cruise lacking thrust vectoring rules of super maneuverability and large exhaust nozzles without I R suppression rule out rear aspect still fifth generation fighters are designed to penetrate heavily contested adversary aircraft and look at targets relying targeting information and coordinates to Other air, land, and sea based weapon system to penetrate heavily contested air space, undetected and ferret out target. A fifth generation fighter requires good stealth and situational awareness using sensor fusion. Sensor fusion fuses inputs from various onboard sensor, radar, IR, and optical into a signal coherent display. Upgraded fourth generation fighter such as SU-30 MK1 and LCA MK1A features varying degrees of sensor fusion, but not enough to provide situational awareness. Dear to aims to fill stage two situation awareness sensor fusion with MWF LCA MK2 fifth generation fighters are expected to feature stage three decision assist or stage four automated decision sensor fusion decision assist situational awareness includes automatic pilotization 
of threats to assist the pilot automated disease and situational awareness includes prioritizing and automatically engaging threats dear do is still grappling with developing capable rf ir and optical sensor sensor fusion will follow sensor development it will be long before it can fill stage 3 and stage 4 situational awareness the cas was like the recommending foreign collaboration for developing sensor and sensor fusion when advising students in november 2022 dn report for sak tv india